up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, United Lee Random, and today is another TNT Tuesday. How are you guys doing? Waits for you to respond. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Today, I will be talking about if I do readings on health or pregnancies, okay? And I have to admit that I tend to avoid doing readings on health or on pregnancy. And it kind of stems from a more personal reason. When I was trying to get pregnant, I would obsess, and I mean obsess over those readings and it wasn't very productive mentally for me because I feel like in these situations especially when you want a child and when you're looking online to try to figure out am I pregnant or not because the pregnancy tests tell you maybe wait a little while or you're testing early and this and this and that I feel like you're already in a cycle of repetitive motions of like okay well let me go ahead and test. Oh, the pregnancy test said negative. But, oh, well, maybe my period's just going to be like, you know, it's not my period's time, but, like, let me go ahead and test again. And you keep doing that, wasting money, wasting time, wasting energy. And when those things start to, like, fail, you turn to tarot cards or pick a card readings about am I pregnant and mind you that's not to say that I wouldn't uh, do a reading about like the personalities possible personalities of your child but there's some pick a card readings out here that say am I pregnant yes or no and some people actually do it right so V Love and Crystals which this is for her um, tarot reading, tarot and tea Tuesday. Um, she does it right when she does it. Okay, well, I'm not going to tell you if you're pregnant or not, but I'm going to tell you, hey, you know, these are some things that you need to do to prepare your body for pregnancy. And before I got on her channel, really watching those videos, I saw a lot of people that were like, oh, am I pregnant? Yes or no? Yes. Or, you know, they would do these videos. And I, I think, Part of my soul was trying to tell me, hey, girl, go ahead and choose these. And they were saying yes. And I was just getting excited about these possibilities. And things weren't happening the way that I wanted things to happen. So it was just a cycle of, like, instability because I was searching out these answers when I already knew the answer was no. And... It's sad to say, but it, it was the case a lot of times. Like, I went through a period of about, I want to say, a year. A year and a half of, okay, we're trying for a baby, and it never happened. And uh, as cliche as it sounds, when you get pregnant, it's going to be when you least expect it. So I did end up getting pregnant, and it was when I least expected it. I wasn't focusing on getting pregnant. I was just more so like, yo, whoa. And it actually happened. Um, uh, long story short, I did end up losing that baby. But it did happen. So, you know, you know how they say, well... At least you know you can get pregnant, which, let me tell you, I would never want anyone to tell me, at least you know you can get pregnant, but, like, I could tell that to myself, you know, one of those things. Um, but, yes, <laughs> I'm on a tangent today, I'm sorry, but, uh, yes, <laughs> will I ever do a reading that just says, are you pregnant, yes or no, no. No, I cannot see it. Even though, like, honestly, those are the videos that will get the views. Those are the videos that will shoot you up in these, like, search bars. Like, people want to know. Am I and the reason that it shoots people up so high is because once you get in that space, you're really reaching out. Like, okay, even if all of the physical signs say no, well, maybe my period is a day late. Okay, let me go on here because the test is saying, you know, and there's, I've been in the vlogs and everything, the blogs, they'll be like, oh, well, maybe this is a pregnancy sign. Maybe this is a pregnancy sign. Oh, it's so toxic. It's so, it's, it's so toxic, but also it's comforting in a way to see other people you know we're all trying this and we're all trying to figure things out it's very comforting in that way because I definitely would be on those forms like they would be like located all the way in freaking Britain and I would be on these forms just 
lurking. I would lurk and I'm like, oh, I have that sign. Oh, I have that sign. Oh, I have that sign. You know? So it's more so a personal reading. I don't have anything against people who do uh, readings on pregnancy. I feel like some people do it right, aka V Loving Crystals. If y'all want to go ahead and watch a video about pregnancy and like, oh, this and this and that, you're you're looking into that. You know, I think she does it right. She has some good videos about like, hey, it's not about are you pregnant. Is hey, what are some steps that I can take to get pregnant? And it, I feel like that's a much healthier way to go about this worrying time when you're trying to conceive. Me and the husband aren't trying to conceive anymore. Um, I just feel like to just throw that out there because like we're talking about pregnancy and whatnot. We're trying to lay low. We have some bigger plans for next year. Oh my goodness, what's bigger than having a kid? <laughs> anyway, um, we could talk a little bit about like health health reasons. I don't know. I think it's more so the legality of it all, talking about health reasons. Like, oh yeah, um, if I do see something in a reading and it does say something along the lines of, hey, health change or dietary change, I would bring that up. Like if it's in the reading, I'll bring it up, but I don't think I'll ever do a reading like, oh, is this person healthy or something like it's more so uh, energies that I'm going to be working on. It's more so uh, love relationships, energy relationships and relationships are energy in my mind. So like just I, I tend to work in that realm. I enjoy working on like the universe speaking to you type of videos. I enjoy doing kind of like relationship videos or just talking to people with the cards. So you guys, I have a video that came out last week that is talking about uh, a general timeless reading for whoever clicks that video. I hope that is a message that you need to hear. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and keep it moving. Thanks for seeing me for another Tea and Tea Tuesday. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.